Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Judge Muriel Robinson is joining us now. Time to get some answers to your legal questions. Lots of folks have called in already. Great to have you with us today. Oh, good to be here. How are you? Doing great. Good. Well, let's see if we can help some folks. We're going to take okay. our first caller right now, and that's going to be Rita. Hi, Rita. What's your question today for the judge? Yeah, is there any way that a parent, uh, parent's rights could be terminated without having to wait the four months uh, of them not seeing the child? Uh, well, not really, because you have to, uh, to terminate parental rights, you have to follow the statute, and uh, the child would be declared abandoned by the parent if they have had no contact in four months and no support, uh, uh, no visitation and things like that. Now, of course, you can't withhold visitation and then expect you uh, to uh, follow that statute because you've got to be willing to let them visit, but they choose not to visit, so four months, but it flies by. It does. Rita, thanks <laughs> so much for that call. All right, what's your question for the judge today? Um, my question is about mar uh, marriage. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my question is, is that um, I got married, and um, the thing about it was is that my wife and I got married here in Tennessee. She's from Georgia, and we were only married for like, uh, we, she took off, and um uh, I haven't seen her since uh, after we got married, and I don't know what in the world to do. You know, I mean, uh, you know. I, well, you, you probably need to get a divorce, uh, and, and if you don't know where she is, what you do is is uh, file for divorce and serve her by publication. Since you don't know she's here in Davidson County, or if you live in Davidson County, you would file it in Davidson County and put in there that the whereabouts of the defendant's unknown, and then you'd have it published at her last known address where you knew she, where she was. And it would be very simple. You might have to wait uh, uh, about two months because you're gonna have to go through um, maybe a Secretary of State issuance if she's in another state, or uh, you've gotta publish it for weeks in a legal newspaper like the, it used to be the Nashville Record. But it'd take you a little time, but you can divorce her and then send it to the last known address and they'll, you'll have the papers to show if she surfaces. That's a so, difficult situation, yeah. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right, Shatika, what's your question today? Oh, yes, sir. It's recently I bought a car from Craigslist. Um, that guy, he was not supposed to be selling a car in Tennessee, somehow stolen from Virginia. When I went downtown to visit DMV, they told me that there were 22 other Tennesseans he's done like this. I tried to contact Foster. Um, the, the, they, they're all giving me the runaround. What do I do? Well, obviously, lesson learned, you're not going to be able to get your money back probably unless you can find this man and sue him civilly. Uh, obviously, if he's not licensed to do business in Tennessee, that may uh, require uh, some criminal warrants or some severe penalties for that. But you know, you have to be very careful buying things over the internet, and, and you need to have all these people checked out by the Better Business or whatever, so I, I really can't give you any hope that you're going to see any money. You could call the uh, Better Business uh, Bureau and give uh, them all the information on this man because obviously the state is trying to stop him, so they need all these people that he's defrauded to call and give them mm -hmm. what information they have. But you're probably not going to get your money back. And that's a tough one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. All right, Judge, thanks so much for being with us. We oh, always well, appreciate it. Love to be here. Thank all right. you. Now, if you didn't get through today, Judge Robinson will be back on the third Tuesday in October.